everyone. Thanks again for joining me on Sealed for Good. I hope you have not forgotten to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't, do that right now. Pause, subscribe, then get back into me. But hey, we're going to talk about strip drains today. And today, this one came up very, very frequently in the questions we had with our live session recently, our Facebook and Instagram live session about flanges, leak control flanges, puddle flanges. And many, many questions came up on strip drains. And all the guys in the field keep telling me that it comes up constantly, even with builders. And it's great that the conversations are out there that we're thinking about new ways of incorporating strip drains into the waterproofing system. But again, like lead control flanges, they're such an important part of the waterproof application because that's where all the water goes. So strip drains, what are they? Well, they've come into fro they've been around for a long, long time. However, They've become more popular over the last decade. In the last three to four years, they've taken a big spike. We've seen them in domestic dwellings. Now even with pod bathroom manufacturers, a lot of them go to strip drains for many reasons. But in principle, what they allow is the collection of water to happen a lot quicker. So if we talk about a shower in a bathroom area, they're a nice seamless finish. And particularly with the way we want bathroom set downs with showers, etc., with that nice sexy look, strip drains tend to be used. Now, where they're positioned is important. It's important they go with the fall of the shower alcove. Sometimes we see these designs where they come back the opposite way. They could be central in the shower alcove if it's a large shower. But most importantly, how you integrate that into your membrane application. Now, before I talk about the wet area one, I'm gonna mention it also for balconies because they are used commonly now for external wet areas. And I think they're a fantastic idea for external wet areas because the volume of water you get outside with rains, if you've ever been out there, watched the, how the impact of rain happens on a balcony or deck. Having a strip drain incorporated into that design allows the water to flow off the main floor a lot quicker. However, the way they're designed with the aperture, the hole that drains away is important, so you can actually get that run of water through the stormwater as required. But the, let's talk about the application of the waterproofing. You've normally got two main materials used with strip drains, a metal, a metal drain or a plastic drain. And we know that whether you're using a liquid or sheet system, integrating the adhesion to plastic and metal is always the challenge. So you need to speak to your manufacturer about what products they recommend to integrate the method of getting the liquid membrane or the sheet membrane to not just bond to the strip drain, but to terminate to it. That's the most important part because this is where things go wrong. A lot of times we just see a bead of sealant used at the point between the membrane and the strip drain, and that's where they fail. Our system, we use our butyl rubber, our BRW butyl, because it bonds directly to plastic and metal without holding up the application, and we can integrate our liquid systems, our sheet systems like the BRW or the express lay system with that method quite actively and easily and it doesn't hold it up, you're not waiting for things to dry, but this is where they fail and their integration termination point for membranes is very, very critical. And also guys, don't just think about the drain, think about the grate that's gonna fit in there. Because sometimes we've seen great applications with the termination point of a membrane to a strip drain, and then there's no room for movement when the, when the grate goes in, it can actually damage or abrade the membrane. So let's take note of that. There's a lot of good strip drain manufacturers now showing details of this, getting actively involved for both external and internal areas. Talk to them, see their details, speak to your suppliers as well and get them to ensure that they've got a brochure or a manual or a technical data sheet on those strip drains and make sure your manufacturer has a detail and a spec on how to terminate that point to the strip drain because even though they serve a purpose for us, if we can't get that membrane to terminate successfully, the job is buggered. Now, if you've got any questions on this one and you'd like to know more details, get hold of us on 1-800-650-435 or drop us a line. You can drop comments into this YouTube channel if you subscribe. And don't forget to get hold of any of our guys out on site. This one is an important one because it's been part of the change. I'll see you next time.